Thank you to Into the AM for sponsoring this video. What's going on guys, it's Paul here and I am super excited because my five year long journey of going back to school for mechanical and aerospace engineering is finally coming to an end here in just a couple of months. One of the benefits to being in engineering school is that I've been able to do a lot of work with CAD and 3D printing. Now I did a video a couple of months ago where I did some comparison and testing of six different water filters and I mentioned in that video that I 3D printed this adapter for the Catadyne Be Free filter, which just adapts it to the thread of a typical water bottle. Now I did have a few issues with this print because the threads did not line up perfectly with the filter or the adapter that I had on this end. So honestly, this thing leaked like a screen door on a submarine and I had to use quite a bit of thread tape to stop it from leaking. It wasn't that big of a deal for my purposes because I was primarily just using this for those tests. Wasn't really planning to take it backpacking, but it did make me wonder what other backpacking items could be 3D printed. And I was also just curious to find out if 3D printing could have as big of an impact on the backpacking industry as it has in other areas. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you some of the other backpacking items that I've 3D printed, as well as a few other models that I haven't printed myself, but they are out there and available. The cool thing about 3D printing is that you can either use a CAD software such as uh, SolidWorks or Fusion 360 and design whatever you want to and then 3D print that, or there are websites such as thingiverse.com where people have already made a lot of models for all kinds of crazy things and you can go in there and for free download those models and then print them. That's how I found this guy. I do have a design of my own that I've been playing around with and if I can get it refined then that may be a topic for a future video. But as for this video, everything that I'm about to show you can be found on Thingiverse. So if you have access to a 3D printer, you could print any of these things. So one of the first things that I 3D printed was this strap mount adapter for action cams such as GoPros or what I use is the Insta360 1R. It attaches the same way that pretty much all action cam mounts attach at the bottom there. And then you just kind of twist it onto your backpack strap and you're good to go. I haven't checked myself, but I'm guessing that you could find something really similar on Amazon, probably in the nine to $10 range. But the cool thing about 3D printing is that once you have the 3D printer, this cost me maybe 10 cents in materials to make. And the other cool thing about it is that you can modify designs. So for example, I'm planning to make a modified version of this that will fit on the tripod mount that I use with my other cameras. The next print that I'll show you, which honestly has surprised me, are these little squeaky carabiners. When I first saw this on Thingiverse, I did not expect much. I certainly did not expect to actually use these because they're 100% 3D printed plastic, so there's no other hardware whatsoever. But as I said, these things have surprised me. I've taken this one on the last four or five backpacking trips, and it's actually held up pretty well. Now, you never in a million years should use one of these for climbing, but the benefit of using this, as opposed to one of these legit carabiners, is that sometimes it's beneficial to have a large carabiner, but you still only need to hold, say, five or 10 pounds for something like wet clothes or something like that. And that's where I found this to be really useful. And for you gram weenies, this is less than half the weight of that other carabiner. Speaking of clothing, if you're in the market for some nice new everyday clothes, you should check out this video's sponsor, Into the AM. I'm currently wearing one of their everyday basic tees. And what I can honestly say is that I did not expect to be impressed by a t-shirt but this thing is actually really nice. The material is very soft. It's got a good bit of stretch to it, so it's a very comfortable shirt. The material is also very thick, so the quality is top notch. I'm six foot one, which I don't feel like that's extraordinarily tall, but I have the hardest time finding clothes that are long enough without being like an umbrella over me. So I was really impressed with the fit of this shirt and the fact that it is actually the perfect length. They also sell hoodies, which I've been equally impressed by. Perfect fit, very comfortable. On their website, you can also find graphic tees, shorts, and undies, all at a great price. And if you check them out at the link in the description below, you can get 10% off your order. Now the next two 3D prints that I'm going to show you, I'm not sure how useful they are, but 
they looked interesting, so I printed them just to test them out. And they both have to do with the fuel canisters that I use for the backpacking stoves. The first are these set of fold-out legs that just kind of clip onto the bottom of the fuel canister like so. You've probably seen little legs like these for sale at backpacking stores. The other thing that I found, which I think is even less useful, honestly, is this little clip. It clips onto the top of the fuel canister like that. And then there's a little cap that just covers over the threads like so. Again, not sure if it's that usable, but if you were concerned about damaging the top of your fuel canister, that could be a good option. Now the next print that I'm gonna show you, I'm hoping will be much more useful. And I say hope because I just recently printed this. I haven't had a chance to actually use it on a trip yet, but it's this simple little triangular bracket that you mount a camera ball head right on the top. And then you can use your two trekking poles along with one extra pole to basically turn it into an ultralight tripod. I'm really excited to test this out. I don't expect it to be something that I would use on every trip, but here and there, this could be a really ultralight option. So those are the few backpacking related things that I've 3D printed so far, but I'm on Thingiverse right now and I wanted to show you my little backpacking collection of other things that I've found. Some of these you'll notice I've already printed and I showed in this video. But then there are a few other things here like uh, little hose clips or hose adapters for hydration bladders. There are also a lot of these little water bottle clips. You can see this one is really similar to the aqua clip that you've probably seen or used yourself. Belt ties, of course, a Garmin inReach mini belt clip, a little pill divider. So you could use a standard prescription bottle, but divide up multiple different types of pills. Up here you can see this is really similar to the little tripod plate that I just printed except someone has done a remake of that same plate and added the little prongs for an action cam. So if you use a GoPro that could be really helpful. And then this last one here I just got a good laugh out of this. Someone has made for the backpacking chairs a little cup holder to hold your beverage and your utensils for your ultralight backpacking chair. As soon as I saw that, I thought about the Shill Brothers, and if it wasn't for the fact that this probably makes it about impossible to fold up the chair with that thing attached, I was thinking about printing one and sending it to them. Might still have to do that. So what does all this mean for my question of whether or not 3D printing can make a major impact on the backpacking industry? Well, I think if you go through your backpacking kit, what you'll find is that 90 to 95% of what we carry is either fabric, that's the majority of what we carry, or a metal like titanium or aluminum. Very little of what we carry is plastic. And being that outside of some really high end, like commercial production 3D printers, most of the 3D printers out there are gonna be limited to some type of a plastic filament, which means that I would say 3D printers could be useful, but they're definitely not gonna be a game changer for this industry. So if you've made it this far into the video with me, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave the video a like and also leave me a comment below. I did some uh, updates to the gear storage. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in hearing more about or more about 3D printing. You can also subscribe to see more of my content in the future. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.